welcome back to my channel. It's Nurse Akeem here, and today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to pass the TEAS test. Whether you're looking into getting into nursing school or just preparing for your next big step, this video is going to be packed with tips and strategies that will help you crush the exam. Plus, if you stay to the end, I got some bonus materials that just might make all the difference in your prep. So, let's get it. Understanding the T's test format. First thing first, let's take a quick look at what you up against. The T's test consists of four main sections. Reading, Mathematics, Science, English, and Language Usage. Each section has its own level of difficulty and understanding what you're facing will help prioritize your study time. The reading section is high school level and it tests your ability to understand and interpret written passages. Expect, um, expect questions on like the main idea, inferences, and reading comprehension. You also may be asked to identify the author's intent, infer meaning from context, and analyze the structure of a text. This section is all about reading critically. The math is also high school level, so you're gonna be working with basic algebra, percentages, ratios. You definitely want to know your ratios and data interpretation, especially if you're gonna be a nurse with your drug calculation. Most of these topics you probably already didn't encounter in school, but you probably need to brush up on the basics to make sure you can apply them quickly. The math section might test your ability to solve word problems, so practice, practice, practice is key. Now science is going to be a little bit tougher. It's at the college level, so you will be dealing with anatomy, physiology, biology, and basic chemistry. To me now, this section was the hardest for me, so don't rush through study here, okay? Also, be ready to apply your knowledge of how systems in the body work together. For example, you may see a question like this. Which organelle is responsible for producing energy in the form of ATP in a eukaryotic cell? I'm pretty sure if you don't know that the answer is mitochondria, you probably need to keep studying. But you will definitely want to be comfortable with questions like this. Finally, we have English and language usage. This section focuses on grammar, sentence structure, and punctuation. It's also going to be at a high school level, but pay attention to the details because the questions can be very tricky. You'll need to recognize errors in sentence structures, verb tense, and subject verb agreement. So make sure you brush up on the grammar rules, okay? Study materials, what you'll need to pass. All right, all right. So now let's talk about the best study materials. If you're going to pass the TEAS test, you're going to need the right resources. So let me walk you through a few materials that's going to be useful for you, okay? First, get your hands on that ATI study manual for Mometrics. You can find it on eBay or Amazon. It's about $20 to $40. It's going to be one of the most popular prep books out there and it covers all major topics with practice questions at the end of each section. This book also offers study tips and strategies for each subject, which can be extremely helpful if you're feeling like stuck or unsure about a concept, you know what I mean? Additionally, Mometrics has an online component that you can access for like $80 a month. This is gonna give you access to even more practice material allowing you to further enhance your study sessions, okay? Now, if you want some straight from the search, you can grab the official ATI study guide. Link in the description. The ebook is about $20. The printed one is like $25 last I checked. The study guide is made by the company who put out the TEAS test. So you know it's only right that you get that. It has practice questions, review questions, and detailed answers that explain why certain choices are correct or incorrect. 
Now for the online materials, if that's more of your speed to study, I recommend investing in the practice test package available on the ATI website. It costs about $80 at the time of this recording, and they can give you access to multiple practice tests with detailed explanations for each question. This is invaluable because you get to simulate the real test environment, which is crucial for pacing yourself. You also can use apps like the official ATIT's Prep 2024, which is available in both the Google and Apple Store. These apps are going to be great for studying on the go, especially if you're busy with work or school. And don't forget about Quizlet. I add some links to the specific Quizlet cards that I find really useful. Create a one month study schedule and time management, okay? You gotta learn time management. All right, now that you got your materials, let's talk about how to organize your study time. Because time management is crucial if you wanna pass the T test. Without a plan, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. So here's how I broke it down into a manageable one month schedule, okay? Week one, focus on math and reading. Spend the first week tackling the math and the reading. And like I said earlier, the math is high school level, so focus on ideas and drawing inferences. Spend one hour per day on the math, 30 minutes on the reading. Set aside focused study blocks like 25 minutes of studying followed by like a five minute break. You can get on YouTube and watch some lo-fi music if you're into that. I'm like a lo-fi guy, so that's good for me. That'll help you with the time management. So now we're gonna move on over to week two. Week two is all about science. Like I said, this is college level, so you're gonna need to give more time to yourself, okay, to focus on anatomy, physiology, biology, and basic chemistry. Spend like an hour and a half, you know, something like that. Science, break that down into like three focused 30 minute sessions. I want you to aim to take at least one full practice test by the end of week three, okay? Now, in week three, we are gonna focus on English, which is typically, like I said, at a high school level. The English section is mostly about grammar, sentence structure, and punctuation. So it's best to brush up on them rules. And I want you to dedicate like an hour a day to studying your English and another hour reviewing your math, reading, and your sign to reinforce what's in your head already, okay? Also, make sure to take at least one practice test for each subject this week to gauge your readiness and identify areas that might still need some work in, you know what I mean? Now we on week four. On week four, this is, this is the final prep week. I want you to review practice and you're gonna get ready for that final okay now in your last week I want you to focus on full review everything I want you to visit all four sections and focus on any of your weak spots I want you to take as many practice tests as you can and simulate the real exam by timing yourself in the last three days focusing on review and practice and don't forget to take them breaks because I want you to avoid burnout. Study for the test like this will burn you out. Just going through it, you boom, boom, boom. You gotta pace yourself, you dig what I'm saying? Now you can trust me on that. I did the research, okay? Take practice tests. Okay, now here go with this game change. You gonna change lanes on real quick like you feel me. Now this gonna be your secret weapon when it comes to prepping for the T's. Why? Because they do more than just familiarize you with the type of questions you will face. They also train you to manage your time effectively, which is crucial on test day. Try to think of them like a rehearsal for the real deal. I want you to start taking a practice test with each subject at the end of every week. Like I told, I told you that, okay? And I want you to track your progress and highlight any of your weak areas. So by the time you hit week four, you should, you should be ready when you hit week four, okay? This probably, I want you to do this because it's going to boost your confidence, but also it's going to help you build your stamina for the actual exam, okay? That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to build stamina 
and confidence. You did. Okay, now here come a pro tip. Now just don't take the test now, you know what I'm saying? Just go through them like, oh, I can do this, I can do that. I want you to review them. I want you to dive into the questions and you, you need to figure out why you got it wrong. Because when you get in your actual program, this is how you need to study throughout your whole program. You need to know why. You need to know, was it a content gap? Or did you run out of time? Or maybe you misread the questions or you overlooked the key details. This step right here, understanding your mistake, is where the real magic happens. You see what I'm saying? It's gonna turn your weaknesses into strengths because you know why. You know why you got it wrong. You know what process that you didn't follow or didn't think about. You know what I'm saying? Now, I recommend that ATI practice test package. It's about $80. It's a, it's a little bit of investment, you know, but it's worth it now. It's worth it. The detailed explanation and the realistic test stimulation. You know what I mean? That, that's another great tip. Did I tell y'all about that? I got to tell y'all about that. For resources, I highly, I cannot get this enough in my head. You feel what I'm saying? The ATI practice test package for about $80. Like I said, it's a little bit of an investment now. But it's worth it. For the detailed explanations and realistic test stimulation. Another great tool that I got to tell you is I'm telling that official ATI Prep 2024 app on that Google Play and that Apple Store. You know, some good tools. I'm telling you, them guys really going to help you out. You know, they're going to really give you a, a sense of exam environment while helping you fine tune that pacing. You know, because you got to pace this is a time test. Oh, and one last thing when you're doing them practice exam, time yourself, treat it like a real exam. This going to help you build that confidence. Build that confidence. Okay. Now, trust me now. By the time you sit for the actual test, you're going to feel like you got it. Straight up like that. Then you can come back and come in and let me know what you made. You get it? And there you go. Now you have it. Now, if you stick with your study plan and commit to the schedule, you should be on your way to knocking off that tease exam. So, you got the right study materials and you understand time management and you're going to take plenty of the practice tests. Say it with me, practice test. Practice test, practice test. You're going to walk into that exam room feeling prepared and you're going to have that confidence. You dig what I'm saying? Remember, success comes from consistency. So I want y'all to trust the process, okay? I just know y'all going to get the Now, like I told you, like I promised you, I got some bonus materials just for you. In the pin, I want you to check the pin comment below. I got some downloadable resources that can give you an extra edge in your prep. These include simple questions that I've had people tell me that some of these questions were actually on the test. So I want you to just imagine walking in and already knowing what to expect. You know, it can make all the difference, you know what I mean? It, but if you download the materials and you find them helpful, I want you to do me a favor. Get in the comments and let me know. I want to let other folk know that it's working for them and it helps. So that'll help grow the community too. You dig what I'm saying? Now that's it for now. Good luck. Good luck. That's all I like to say. And when you come back, you know where it lives. Now, if this video gave you any value, you know what to do. I ain't gonna tell you to like, share, and subscribe and support the channel and help others who might be prepping for the T's test. But anyway though, hey, it's your boy Nurse Akeem. Thanks for watching and I hope this video really works out for you, okay? Peace.